Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to Star Trek Lower Decks, Season 3, Episode 7. Well, unlike the last two episodes, I know nothing about this episode. I don't know... anything. Not even the title of the episode, so... Yeah. Uh, last time we had Deep Space Nine, which was fantastic. Uh, I love... I don't know. I just love Deep Space Nine, and I love uh, I love the theme song. I loved seeing Kira and Quark. It was just fantastic. No complaints from me. But yeah, I don't I don't know what to expect in this episode. So I'll keep this intro fairly brief. But before I get into this, don't forget to like this video if you like it, and if you have anything to say about this episode or the previous episodes, please put it in the comments. I hope to get caught up. Mm. I hope to get caught up soon in terms of posting. I mean, as of recording this, this is the latest episode, so I am technically caught up in terms of watching, but yeah, I I would like to get things posted as soon as possible, but I've been busy with school. I just finished one of my classes, so that frees up a little bit of time, but I will also be working on my other classes, um, so we'll see. But yeah, like this video, comment. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing, especially if you like this kind of content. I can't think of anything to say. I mean, oh, okay, wait. I mean, I guess I could talk about like actual plot points of Lower Decks. I mean, we'll probably see uh, Mariner and Ransom, maybe Tendi working on her senior science officer stuff still. Bold Boimler. Uh, it'd be cool to get some Rutherford, more of his s stuff, but uh, who knows? I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm looking forward to getting into this. Uh, I don't have anything else to say before getting into this, so I'll go ahead and get this episode started. Previously. Ooh, previously. They don't do this. They don't do this very often. Who's small enough to go and detect it? Yeah, and who could survive in space without a ship? It's someone who can travel with the program signal. Oh. We're gonna... She's coming back. Robotic abilities. Oh my gosh, Pete and Amber, they're gonna save the day! Please, I'm in the past. I do remember seeing her in the trailer, so... This isn't too surprising. Whoa, they wanted me to do that? Yeah, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I love that she's just watching. Serves you right. <laughs> by to save me soon enough, unless they forget to scan for non-organic life. But that'll never happen. <laughs> well. Oh, no theme song. Is it just this? Okay. This is the intro, I guess. Interesting. Well, I guess we're gonna catch up with Peanut Hamper. A mathematically perfect redemption. I hate Starfleet! What about the needs of the meat? <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry, Sophia. You're right. I hate when I get like <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That was definitely a sonic screwdriver sound effect. Or at least it sounded like it. Ah, What's this? Oh. Well. So much for your escape. Only room for one. Okay, here we go. okay, never mind. Well, that can't be very safe. Oh, is she gonna ruin a non-warp capable planet civilization Sophia, no. what? yeah probably I'm gonna worship her as gods worship her as a god that's what I was trying to say yes to me whoa hey please please don't dismantle me I'll tell you anything you want to know about Starfleet I'll give you all their um, if they... oh, yeah. can you feel that so you are fully restored wait so I'm not a prisoner 
Yeah, if they were gonna disassemble you, they would have done it by now. Oh, f I beg of your pardon. <laughs> yeah, it's just something we space folks say when we're stranded on a backwater planet with no culture. Oh, yes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> That's hilarious. What am I supposed to give you candy or something? Here. <gasps> I didn't know you could replicate stuff. Peanut Hamper is a living being. And like any other life form, she deserves our respect. Yeah! Can a machine ever really be alive? Oh, he's buff. Getting some major village bad boy vibes from Raw Dog, am I right? His name is Raw Dog, and you. <laughs> Raw Dog. Well, good morning to you, too. Come, we must begin the day's work. <laughs> this, this voice sounds familiar. Not that you'd know anything about anything. <sighs> hmm. I, I can't place it. Maybe maybe it'll say in the end credits. Well, the next time it rains, it's just gonna collapse like it always has. <clears throat> Watch when you put those claws. Sky snake. What the heck? If everything here flies, then why call it a sky snake? Wouldn't that just be a snake? Come, more task await. True. Good point. Pigs can fly. <laughs> okay. No one has ever survived a sky snake attack. Death will be swift. <laughs> and oh, Annie Venom. <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, that was easy. Yeah, yeah, calm down. It's called science, which you could have if you didn't put up with straw and parrot. Yeah, she's totally gonna mess Prime Directive stuff. I said hold still, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> she's so annoying. Oh gosh, so dumb. Are we ever gonna get to the Cerritos this episode? My fecal matter is back to being oily and white. Great! But also <laughs> gross. <laughs> if she wasn't going to get arrested for betraying, then she'll definitely get arrested for breaking the Prime Directive. <laughs> All 36 hatchlings? Peanut Hamper, you are incredible! <laughs> <laughs> Is he falling in love? It'd be so funny. Oh, peanut hamper. I can't help but be full of song when I'm with you. <laughs> of course he is in love with her. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so funny. Growing up, all my dad wanted me to do was stay with him and the other exocomps. I had plans to get away to Free Cloud, become a Dabo girl, never settle down. I ended up a Dabo girl. You're welcome to stay. You've made everyone's life so much better. Although there is one person you haven't treated yet. I guess we should start with a physical. Oh, I long for oh, the gosh. touch of your nozzle. <laughs> what the heck? But our pieces are so different. <laughs> Ears are complicated. How will we? We're just gonna have to wing it. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I feel as I've been lied to my whole life about your kind. Come, there's something I must show you. What is this? Is this where, like, the, the ancient people. Our ancestors. Yeah. In the distant past, the Aerior were a spacefaring species. I'm sorry, what? Wait, like you guys have had technology this entire time? <laughs> uh huh, that's called warp. Oh, I guess I haven't been breaking the Prime Directive. This True. I can never forget what I've done. Then I have no choice but to make you forget. <laughs> <laughs> there they go again. That's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> Are they getting married? Goodness gracious. Concern the wind joining of Rauda and Peanut Hamper. Peanut. She has a. <laughs> she has a beak. They're just body scavengers. They what? Were the ones who were trying to take me 
from that debris field. They must have trapped me here. Just stay calm, my love. This is all my fault. Don't let them take me. Surely she's not that valuable to have that they would come here to take her. Our scans show that valuable material lays beneath your village. Oh, they're here for the... That makes more sense. Well, this is probably going to happen regardless of if Peanut Hamper were here. That's where you're wrong. I can do something. Peanut! Ah, she's sending her. Uh, Captain, we're receiving a distress call from Peanut Hamper? It looks like she's transmitting from a planet called Areolas. Areol Air <laughs> Areolas. <laughs> no, I'm Starfleet. Okay. I guess that's character growth. <gasps> Peanut Hamper is saving the day? Yeah. <laughs> Here goes everything. <laughs> no. I was expecting more of an explosion. Nice. Well, now it's just gonna fall on them. Wait, look. Nice. You saved us all. Pretty good for a space box, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy. Captain, is there any room for a loving husband on your ship? Oh, no, 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 no. I could never ask you to leave this paradise. Peanut, with you, anywhere is paradise. <laughs> it's sweet, but super cheesy. Wait, what? What? No! Is it even operational? Affirmative, and it's got weapon systems like nothing we've ever seen before. You better get out of there! Oh, jeez. You've got the ship, just leave. You don't have to attack anyone. Put this through to the captain. We received a subspace communication, an invitation that said these ships were scraps of junk for the taking, and we would be met with no resistance if what? we hauled them away. He's lying. It came from a prissy little robot, peanut butter. What? That's crazy. Uh, this guy is so full of it. Obviously, we recorded it. Why would... Anyway, those are the coordinates. The ships are all underground. Why would she do that? You guys didn't want these ships, and I needed a way to show Starfleet that I'm a hero so they would take me back. How was I supposed to know these old ships still worked? I mean, they... <sighs> Dang it. How could you? Oh boy, here comes the waterworks. This guy cries at everything. He even cries after we do it. Wait, peanut hair. <laughs> after we do it. They've heard your prayers. Wait. Who's this? Oh no, okay. Good for him. I don't remember his name, so I'm I'm thinking of just calling him Raw Dog, because that was what she called him. Get wrecked. It's surprising that he actually knew how to fly it. Henceforth, we turn our backs on fear! Nice. You're all going to get assimilated. See how you like being organic then, ha ha! Stop that! Don't touch me! Resistance is futile! Resistance is futile! She's so annoying. Uh, you think this is bad? <laughs> A room full of awesome robots? <laughs> I love the label. <laughs> Hamper, is it? <gasps> Ooh, Jeffrey Combs. Thanks. Who the hell are you? I am Agamus, and I think you and I could do awful things together. I was thinking about him earlier in the episode. I was like, I wonder if I'll ever see that computer again. <laughs> no, They're so dumb. Stop with us. Nobody invited you guys. Stop. <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it. <sighs> I mean, I didn't recognize any names, so I have no idea if I know the actor playing, what's his name? The bird, hunky bird guy. But uh, I will say that I have been listening to a lot of Dungeons and Daddies, and 
he certainly sounded like Freddie Wong and or Jimmy Wong. But it's probably neither of them. Anyways, uh, I thought this was an interesting episode. Uh, definitely, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I, I didn't care much about Peanut Hamper, and uh, her coming back was just mm, meh. Uh, but I liked the way they did it. It was funny. Uh, I thought it was really funny. Her, her and Hunky Bird Guy. I can't think of his, I don't know his name just them like forming this romance and <laughs> it's just so funny so ridiculous but uh, and I thought that maybe she was gonna have some character growth but I guess she didn't because she just ended up doing stuff for selfish reasons again anyways yeah I don't know I find it interesting that Starfleet has just so like a all of these self-aware computers in storage like you would think they would find a way to like deactivate them, but maybe that's unethical, but also keeping them, I don't know. Like, I'm a little confused about that. Like, what are the ethics of putting someone in, I mean, it's, I guess it's no different than putting someone in prison uh, and deactivating would be like equivalent to killing them, but it doesn't have to be like a permanent deactivation. Also like, in this prison scenario, it's not like they're being rehabilitated in any way. So I'm like, I don't know. It's it's a bit uh, confusing, the ethics of that. It's not like, I don't know, gosh. I, I was going to say, it's not like they feel anything, but like, Peanut Hamper has emotions. I don't know. I don't know. It's confusing. Overall, I, I think I liked this episode. I liked the callbacks. I liked seeing or hearing Jeffrey Combs come back, which I guess opens the door maybe for him and Peanut Hamper to break out. And I don't know if that's even possible, but uh, that would be, it'd be an interesting plot point. But I'm always I'm always happy to, to for Jeffrey Combs. To, to be in Star Trek, you know? Uh, what else? Was there anything else about this episode? Yeah, I don't know. This was, this was a good episode. Liked all the jokes and the, the humor. But uh, I can't... I don't think I had anything else specific to, to talk about here. I'm going to see if the... Uh, if it's been put in IMDb yet. See if the actor has been listed but besides that I think that's all I have to say okay yeah didn't think so it's been, it's too soon it's it came out today so uh, anyways good episode uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments were you happy to see peanut hamper again I mean uh, like I I saw her, I mean I had seen her in the trailer for season three so I figured she was coming back at some point but I did didn't know it was gonna be this episode um but i enjoyed this episode anyways thanks for watching thanks for being here uh i appreciate you guys appreciate your patience in me getting these out i hope i can post the previous episode soon so i can get this one posted soon and and then yeah hopefully hopefully i can get back on track i've gotten so like, I recorded the first episode of Umbrella Academy Season 3 and haven't touched it since. So, it'd be nice to be able to get back to that eventually. It'd be nice to be able to get back to the boys' diabolical. I just, I don't know, I've been trying to focus on these shows that are coming out currently before getting back to those. So, yeah, we'll see. But thanks for your patience. Thanks for being here. Again, I said that again, but it's fine. Um, hopefully I can get these posted soon and hopefully I'll see you guys next time